please be seated. I want to welcome all of you here and thank you for coming to help my family and to mourn with my family and mostly to celebrate a life well lived. My mother was the glue that held our family together through the ups and downs and thicks and thins of our family's politics. As individuals, she believed in us and took care of us. Mom started the Rosalind Carter Institute for Caregivers at Georgia Southwestern University. She told me that her adventures had led her to more than 120 countries. She had been fly fishing all over the world. She had met kings and queens, presidents, others in authority, powerful corporate leaders and celebrities. She said the people that she felt the, the most comfortable with and the people she enjoyed being with the most were those that lived in absolute abject poverty, the ones without adequate housing, without a proper diet, and without access to health care. I will always love my mother. Let me finish by saying that my mother, Rosalind Carter, was the most beautiful woman I've ever met and pretty to look at too. Thank you. President Carter, President Biden, Dr. Biden, Vice President Harris, the second gentleman, President Clinton, Secretary Clinton, Mrs. Bush, Mrs. Obama, Mrs. Trump, distinguished guests and friends. Rosalind Carter would be so pleased to see that she brought all of you together on this day. Without Rosalind Carter, I don't believe there would have been a President Carter. She and the two of you set an example for all of us. What a gift she left. My mom spent most of her life in love with my dad. Their partnership and love story was a defining feature of her life. Because he isn't able to speak to you today, I am going to share some of his words about loving and missing her. This is from a letter he wrote 75 years ago while he was serving in the Navy. My darling, every time I have ever been away from you, I have been thrilled when I returned to discover just how wonderful you are. While I am away, I try to convince myself that you really are not, could not be, as sweet and beautiful as I remember. But when I see you, I fall in love with you all over again. Does that seem strange to you? It doesn't to me. Goodbye, darling. Until tomorrow. Jimmy.